Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Uh, today we will see Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness in bimodal method. In the previous class we have seen simple problem where mode can be defined that we have seen. If at all mode cannot be defined, there is a separate formula as I told you on the introductory class. Okay? So, that formula we, we have to use. What is that formula? SKP, Carl Pearson's QNS. This is bimodal method formula. 3 into x bar minus median by standard deviation. Actual formula is x bar minus z by rho. Did you remember? x bar minus z by rho. Here also x bar minus z. Instead of z we are using m. That is it. By rho. x bar minus z by rho. That was the formula. x bar minus m by rho. This we are multiplying x bar minus m we are multiplying with 3. That is all. Easy to remember. This formula we have to use where mode is ill defined. Where mode is in bimodal method. Through a problem you will get more clarity. So, x is given to us and also frequency. So, everything I have done small calculations to save the time. Okay? Now, x if you see class interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20 like this. Now, frequency always whenever you want to calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness, you have to see the frequency whether mode can be defined or not. Now, if you see the frequency, uh, the most frequently occurring number is 40. But it, is a, but it is repeating two times. Two times means this is bimodal method. We cannot define the mode. When we cannot define the mode, use this formula. Where you cannot define the mode, how do you work out mode? Not possible. So, that is why we have to use this formula. Am I clear about this? Now, if you know the formula 3 into x bar minus medium by rho standard deviation, means what we have to calculate? Median x bar and standard deviation 3 we have to calculate and apply in the formula. We know the calculations. First of all, we will focus on the x bar. Okay? x bar means arithmetic mean. What is the formula of x bar? x bar is equal to sigma f m by n. f m by n we need to calculate first in mid value then f m. So, I have provided mid value mid value or midpoint you can say in short I am saying it as m, m is mid value. How do you got m? Middle value of x, 0 plus 10, 10, 10 by 2, 5. Here if you add 30, 30 by 2, 15, this is 50, 50 divided by 2, 25. Like this you got the middle value and as per the formula we need fm, frequency into mid value, fm. So, fm I have calculated in another column frequency into mid value 10 into 50, 10 into 5, 50, 40 into 15, 600, 20 into 25, 500 like this calculated FM. So, as per this formula we need the total of FM also. So, I have totaled this one divided by N, N means frequency total, this is 150 over, X bar is over. Next what else? We need median, median what is the formula of median? Two formulas are there. So, one is this problem is starting from here only, space is very less, so that is why I have started there. So, there only I will write even median also. Two formulas, first formula is m is equal to size of n by tooth item, n by tooth item, okay. n is here 150, 150 by 2 means 75th item, 75th item we got. Now, what else we need? Uh, to calculate median always remember we need CF. I forgot to provide this column, I will write it here, CF. Always remember whether discrete series or continuous series. To calculate median, quartiles, deciles, percentiles, first step is CF. So, let me calculate CF fastly. So, first number is 10, frequency 10, okay. 10 plus 50, 10 plus 40, 50, 50 plus 20, 70, 70 plus 0, 70, and 70 plus 10, 80, 80 plus 40, 120, 120 plus 16, 136, 
136 plus 14, 150. So, this total is also 150. In this way also you can check out whether the CF is proper or not. So, one more column I have prepared. Columns uh, as per the requirement will be providing. Now, for the median, we know that size of n by 2th item means 150 by 2, 75th item. Where does it lie 75th in uh, CF? 75 above we have to see. It means 80. 80. 80 means here class interval is 40 to 50. Here we can uh, write one line uh, 75th item. lies in class, what is the class? 40 to 50. Now, you know the formula of median. What is the formula of median? Second formula, median is equal to L plus n by 2 minus C of by frequency into i. This is the formula. We will apply it in this formula. Median is equal to L means lower class interval 40. 40 plus n by 2, n by 2 already we have done, 75 you know that. So, I am writing 75 directly plus, oh sorry, 75 minus CF. CF, what is the CF? Above value. Uh, 75th item lies in 40 to 50, this is the line, okay. So, this is always CF, we have already learned, minus 70 by frequency. Frequency is this one, 10 into i, i is class interval, class interval difference of class interval is 10. If you calculate it, this is 5, 5 means uh, here 50, I will write it in step wise, plus 5 plus 10, 50, 50 by 10, so this is 5, so altogether the answer is 45, median is 45. If you want, you can write step by step also to save the place. I am going a little bit of shortcut method, any calculations you know. Uh, what we need? X bar got it. Where is X bar? No, we did not do X bar also. So, X bar also will calculate X bar is equal to sigma f m. Sigma f m is here. Already I have written the formula, need not to write. Sigma f m by n. f m is here, total 5890 by n n is 150. We will use the calculator 5890 divided by 150 comes to 39.27. Uh, so, as per the formula what we need x bar. So, x bar you got it. Next, median, median also you got it. Now, next standard deviation. So, we will calculate standard deviation also. For standard deviation, you know the formula. First, we will write the formula so that you will come to know how many, what are the columns you have to provide. Standard devi deviation is equal to root of f d x square by n minus sigma f d x by n whole square. So, this is the formula. As per this formula, what we need? Dx we want, we have to calculate Dx first. So, Dx is here. How do you get Dx? Dx means m minus a, m minus assumed mean. m is here, this one, middle value. a is assumed value. Assumed value means any value you can assume it. You can take any assumed value. Always I prefer to take first value of middle value only. So, that all the values we get it in plus means positive as well as calculation is also easy. So, now here m minus a, a I am taking phi as assumed mean. Now, phi minus phi, m minus phi, m minus you know, so a is phi, phi minus phi 0, 15 minus phi 10, 25 minus phi 20, 35 minus phi 30 like we have calculated dx. After this f dx, f into dx, multiplication, 10 into 0, 0, 40 into 10, 400, 20 into 20, 400, like we have calculated f dx. 
then after that f d x is where we need f uh, frequency this you can take directly d x into f d x f d x is where. So, this multiplication 0 into 0 0 10 into 400 4000 20 into 400 8000 like f d x is where also we have done. We need the total of f d x and f d x is where only we do not want this total. Okay? So, both I have done the total f d x total is 5140, f d x is where total is 2,54,200. Apply it in the formula, we know the formula, right? So, as per the formula, sigma f d x is where means 2,54,200 by n, n is 150 minus sigma f d x, f d x is 5140, 140 divided by 150 whole square. We will simplify this calculation 2 lakh 54 200 divided by 150 comes to root of 1694.6 sorry 1694.67 minus this calculation we will see. 5140 divided by 150. We are getting 34.2627. So, same one into 34.27 because square is there, no? So, this calculation comes to 34.27. Same calculation that into 34.27. So, we are getting here 1174.32. Next step is I am doing here only because you have to do uh, in order. So, let us uh, subtract this 1694.67 minus 1174.32. <coughs> it comes to 520, root of 520, 520.35. If we take out the root, it is coming to 22.811. 22.8 you can say. Now, we got even standard deviation also, median arithmetic mean standard deviation, apply it in the formula. So, what is the formula here? Uh, SKP, formula already I have written, so I am not writing once again. As per the formula 3 into x bar, x bar is here 39.27. Minus median, median is 45 divided by standard deviation. Standard deviation is 22.8. Now, now we will see the calculations. First of all, uh, 39.27 minus 45 minus 45. One minute, 39.27 minus 45, it is coming to 0.573, multiply also will do into 3, comes to minus 1, minus 17.19, this divided by 22.8, divided by 22.8, comes to 0 0.75, minus 0 0.75, so the value is in negative. Most of the time positive, but very rarely means the calculations whatever we have done. So, everything is showing in negative value. Okay. So, am I clear? Take the screenshot. Hope it is clear. So, with this Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness is over. Normal formula x bar minus z by rho. Okay. So, that formula remember and second formula. 3 into x bar minus median by rho. This is bimodal method. So, nothing to worry when problem is given to calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness, Carl Pearson's. See first the frequency. Can you define the mode? If you can define the mode x bar minus z by rho. If you cannot define the mode like here highest value is 40, there is another value of 40 also there. So, it is bimodal method. Bimodal means take this formula. 
once if you write the formula you will get to know that how many columns you have to prepare what is the formula x bar formula you know sigma fm by n okay sigma fm means mid mid value i have to calculate then after that fm two columns i have prepared then after that median median calculations we need one column cf cumulative frequency provide this column and write the formulas first formula is size of n by tooth item calculated then according to that you have defined where it lies then second formula median is equal to uh, l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into i so as per that formula you got median also then after that what we need standard deviation standard deviation what is the formula root of sigma fdx square by n minus sigma fdx by n whole square so as per the formula what do we need dx fdx fdx square columns provide apply it so you got even uh, standard deviation once if you get everything apply it in this formula simple there is nothing to worry easily you can score 100 percent marks okay do not leave it quite easy so by the way check out our playlist and whatever may be your syllabus whether you are doing CA, CS, CMA or BCom, BBA, MBA, BTech or any course whatever may be course you will be finding some useful material in our channel check out the playlist take out your syllabus match it use it and forward this videos stay connected practice well good luck